Is smoking cool again? Well, this video has nearly 20 million views on YouTube, and there are plenty more like it. A recent U.S. study suggests the use of e-cigarettes and vape pens is the fastest growing rate of substance abuse in teenagers ever recorded. And now, new Canadian research suggests youth vaping here has doubled in just the last year. It's all on a report out next week. This is a really big reversal. Teenage smoking had been declining for four decades. And a few months ago, one Vancouver high school had to shut down nearly all its washrooms because so many students were vaping in them. So how did smoking get cool again? Well, we're seeing a lot of the same old tricks from the big tobacco playbook back before the big ban on almost all advertising. Instead of Joe Camel and free cigarettes at sporting events, we have influencers on social media, some as young as 18-year-old Dash. His whole page is devoted to the promotion of vape, and he's got thousands of followers. Jewel has been called the iPhone of e-cigs. It's made nicotine go viral. And if you check out their billboards, young people are front and center. Flavors include cream and mango. And the biggest sell? Well, it's not a cigarette, it's smoking evolved. No cancer-causing chemicals here. But here's the thing, vaping is smoking. E-cigarettes, vape pens, whatever you want to call them, they, they may not have the cancer-causing chem chemicals that cigarettes have, but they are packed full of nicotine and perhaps just as addictive. Here to talk to me about all of this is David Hammond. He is a lead researcher on the report saying that teen vaping rates have doubled. So, David, you've been watching for years. You've seen all of the efforts to ban advertising on cigarettes to young people in particular. What did you, what did you think when you saw all of these vaping ads start to appear? Look, I, I've been doing this work for almost two decades. I knew what was coming down the line, and I still remember the moment where I walked into the corner store with my kids to buy them an Archie comic for summer camp, and I saw the biggest poster I've ever seen in a corner store. There was a product display, there was a video going. That's, we have not seen this in Canada for a very long time, and so even I was surprised. Um, so I think this is not going to be something that's solved overnight. Let's get flavors like cotton candy and dragon's breath out of there. Let's get rid of some of those, uh, you know, advertisements that reach kids. And then we can have a real conversation about the role that these things can play to help smokers get off smoking and sort of dampen down this youth uptake. But we've got some, we've got some work to do for sure. So these, these vapes are sold, actually were approved by Health Canada, partly because they're, they're sold to help people quit cigarettes. And yet... So much of the marketing is aimed at young people. I mean, there aren't that many 14-year-olds yeah. trying to get off of cigarettes. Does, this, does that make sense? Well, that's the big challenge is that, you know, there's reasons why these products could help some of our 5 million smokers get off the smoke. That would be a public health benefit because they're less harmful. But we need to do that without bringing in a new generation of nicotine users. And really the question is, how do you do that? So Juul is sort of the hot, the cool product right now they must be pretty happy seeing this explosion after so many kids stopping smoking for so many years. Well, absolutely. I mean, we've known for decades that if, if people get past the age of 18, 19, 20, almost nobody starts smoking in Canada or North, North America. And so the tobacco companies have been looking at their future saying, it's not a question of if the market's going to decline, it's just how quickly it declines. Well, now there's another set of products out there, um, and it's somewhere for smokers to land. Certain products, like e-cigarettes, are bringing in a different type of consumer, in other words, people that don't smoke. So I think it's good news from their standpoint, um, and, you know, unfortunately, it does harken back to what we saw 30 or 40 years ago. So is the federal government doing enough? Like, we hear that there's a, a big plan coming to, to sort of more, have more rules about advertising to kids? Well, I can tell you I'm glad that I don't work for Health Canada because this market changes so quickly. These new products in Juul completely upended some of the other companies. So it, it, this is like chasing a tiger by the tail. Uh, it moves so quickly and our government, they are trying to respond. Many will, people will say they're moving too quickly and they took too long to start. Uh, wherever we're at today, we need to move more quickly than we have been over the last year or two. The big difference now, I suppose, is that there's social media. Uh, you know, young people aren't watching television much these days, so mm -hmm. can you control, can you regulate what is sold or pitched to young people on social? 
Yeah, it's, it's very hard to, to control all marketing and social media, whether we're talking about cannabis or tobacco or vaping. Um, but quite clearly, we can bring in steps. We have relatively few restrictions right now, and, and, and Canada's looking at tightening those. But it is absolutely true that kids don't see these in the same way they see conventional cigarettes. You know, cigarettes are for your dad or your grandpa. Uh, E-cigarettes are seen as sort of more modern. Juul refers to them as sort of the iPhone of vaping. Uh, they don't smell, they have a much different sort of appearance around them and we're probably going to need to change that image and get people to see them more as something you use if you're trying to quit smoking if we really want to uh, deal with this issue of youth uptake. David Hammond, thank you so much for talking to me. My pleasure. Public health researcher David Hammond. Jewel tells us youth usage is unacceptable to us and that minors should not use Jewel. They also state it's a product for adult smokers. The company uses multiple approaches in Canada to keep Juul out of the hands of young people, including a strict marketing and social media code.